Hey guys, what's up? Chris here, I Touch iPods, and today I have app pack number 23 here for you guys. Uh, but before I go ahead and get into this app pack, I'd like to give a quick shout out to I Touch Help 221. I Touch Help 221. Uh, he does also some app reviews. I see he has a lot of theme reviews um, for all you jailbroken users out there. Uh, and he also has a lot more videos, so make sure you go and check him out. Once again, I Touch Help. 221. His link will be over there in the video. Hopefully, over there. If not, it should be over there. Um, but um, definitely go and check him out and subscribe if you like what he's doing. So, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get straight on into At Pack 23. Alright guys, so what's up? Like I said, I got At Pack number 23 here for you guys. Go ahead and move my iPod off that crap Um I'm going to go ahead and start this app pack off uh, with an application called, see if I can zoom in here for you guys, Draw Race. Um, it's not that new of an application, but I've actually been playing it a lot. Uh, it's actually become pretty addicting, and I uh, thought I would let you guys, oops, sorry about that autofocus, uh, I thought I would let you guys know about it. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up right there. You guys saw the icon. This application is available in the App Store for 99 cents, pretty low price. Uh, I believe this app pack contains only 99 cent applications, so that's a cool little thumbs up. Um, when this application first opens up, you're greeted with a menu screen of having to choose from one player, two players, or three players. So you can have the same iPod and pass it around with your friends, or just play with whoever you're playing with. Um, if you're like me, just for this video, you're going to do one player. But if you want, in the beginning, you can go to setup, and you can put a name in there so it saves it your high score. Um, with that name, you can have your league set to all different international and everything like that. Um, and then you could also put in your email if you want, so it could send you stuff like that. It says right down there. Let's see if that'll focus. It says update. Uh, it says optional. Fill in if you want news and draw race, news on draw race and new games. Uh, so you don't have to put your email in. So I didn't because I don't really like getting spam emails like that. But up to you. So we're gonna go ahead and just click on one player because obviously there's only one of me. I hope. But um, anyway, you're first greeted with this first menu screen that has one, two, three, four, five different races. Uh, each of these little gold circles is a separate race. You will see on each time that you do scroll over, you are greeted with five more different races. Um, that once you start going over the, once you start going over more towards the right, the difficulties start to raise. Um, they get harder and harder. This first one includes a tutorial and then just simple laps um, that are pre pretty easy to beat. Um, what's pretty cool about this application is once you beat a level, which I'm going to show you how to do it and everything in a minute, but once you beat a level here, I'll go ahead and click on this one. Once you beat it, you're then able to unlock this mode right here where you can then choose to have a time trial against yourself. You can race against your personal best, which is the best time that you got on that track, so you have a little ghost car of yourself of your best time racing you. Or you could race over the internet against somebody else. It says right down there, race against a network opponent. That's what I really like. That's what I think is really cool. That you can, you don't have to race with people around you or, uh, like if you're hanging out with your friends, you could really race with anybody you want, anybody else who has this application. So that's pretty neat. So I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to go into the tutorial and I'm just going to go against, uh, I'm just going to do time travel, just time trial, <laughs> time travel, uh, time trial, um, just, that's just the usual one. So here it tells you, welcome to the tutor tutorial. What you guys want to do with this application, this application really takes a uh, good, great use of the touch in iPod Touch and iPhone, even though there's no iPod Touch in iPhone, but it really takes good use of the touch. So you guys see, the whole point is that you're going to take your finger, just like they showed you, and you're going to draw where you want your little red race car to go. And wherever you happen to drag your finger along the map, that's where your car is going to go. But it's not that simple. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and go back. Alright? Let's go to this one. Two laps. I'm going to go to a time trial. You race against a blue car the majority of the time. So, as you guys can see here, like what they just did in the tutorial, we're going to take our finger and we're going to drag it where we want it. And wherever we drag it, you will see the red line come behind it. Alright? I'm just going to go ahead and stop right there. Because you guys can see the little bar at the top. You guys saw that went all the way down when I completely stopped. That bar up there is going to determine how fast your little car goes. So if you bring it fast around, if you move really fast, it's going to go really fast. The bar's going to shoot all the way up. If you start going slower, the bar's going to go down. So you might want to slow down around turns or something like that. So let's go ahead and watch now. So you guys can see sometimes if you make it go too fast around turns, it'll skid out and it'll mess up just like that. So let's see if we got a little bit better lap this time. 
<clears throat> right there, that's where we went really slow. You guys can see that right there. So it actually, it does matter in how fast you go or in how fast you move your finger. So let's go back to the main menu and let's actually go ahead and race, um, w uh, race the CPU actually uh, in the game. Uh, you guys can see all the trophies on the different raceways. Those are ones that I've already completed and that's what happens when you already win a map. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and this one. This one is also two laps. So now we're going to go ahead and try to beat the little blue car. Now that we're going to be racing you know, the little blue car or the computer or the iPod, whatever you guys want to say, because I'm not beating this level yet. So you might want to take it a little bit slower around turns, move your finger all around, and that looks like it went pretty good. So let's see what we can get down here. You can raise the volume up. It has pretty cool uh, sounds. It has like a crowd in the background. It has the car's engine as it goes around the turns, as it speeds up, as it slows down, as it skids. Really cool little sound effects with this app. Yeah, we're not going to win. That's why this one is one that I haven't beaten yet. This one I found uh, is actually really hard to beat. So that's what's also cool about this application is that it does have some great replay value because you're not going to be able to beat it 100% of the time. Well, hopefully. Um, so you can retry it if you want. I'm not going to, but uh, you can click redraw if you mess up and you want to do it again. But I'm just going to go ahead and go back. And actually, there's there's a like there's a there is a large sorry guys I just had a little brain fart right there but there's a large variety of different maps that they have designed and that you can choose from and they're not always two laps some are three some are five some are four it depends on which race you choose so draw a race guys would I buy it yes it's a very fun very addicting application that you guys should definitely go and check out for ninety nine cents okay um, sorry about that the next app we have here is going to be Harbor Master Harbor Master right there. Um, this application really reminds me of, uh, and possibly will remind you guys of Flight Control. If you ever played it, it's pretty much exactly like like Flight Control, but in water with boats and ships and docking the ships instead of uh, landing the airplanes. So when you first open this application, you're greeted with Play Options, which are really cool because they're all hidden on like on the ships as crates. So you guys can see Options is on top of that crate. You have Credits all the way in the back. On the other ship, you have play and more games and instructions. I'm just going to go into play because this is actually a pretty simple application to figure out. So we'll just go ahead and click play. Uh, you can choose to have different, um, I guess you can call them accounts on here or different usernames. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose that one that I have. All right. Then once you're in here, you have the little map of all the little areas that you can go to. Uh, ones that you already unlocked or ones that you haven't unlocked yet. Such as that one right there. See, I don't have that one yet. So we'll go ahead and go back. Uh, you can also view achievements that you may have achieved uh, while playing this application. Pretty neat little thing that they threw in there. You can also check out your global stats or you can go back. I'm going to go ahead and start out with the one that they first give you with. Actually, excuse me, that's not the first one. The first one they give you with is Fishing Bay. Very simple. So just go ahead and click Start. And what you have to do here is on this first level, there's no color coding or anything like that. All you have to do is take the ship, take a finger, and dock it. Touch it and dock it. You will then see that the ship, then its cargo comes off. So you can go ahead, once it's done, guide it off the map. When it's done, guide it off the map, just like that. So go ahead and take this ship, put it in one of the docks. And if you have played Flight Control, you guys can tell it's the same exact interface. It's the same exact, pretty much everything, but with um, a different, uh, kind of a different title to it, I guess you guys can say. But um, this first level, very simple. Um, you have to avoid the ships from crashing into each other or touching at all. You guys will see that when they, they'll they uh, light up red, that means that they're coming uh, close to another one. Um, you guys can see right there, that one's going off. They'll come clear when you have them in dock. So that one's pretty simple. That first level is actually really easy. So let's go back to the map. A cool thing about this application is that it does get harder with the ones that, the more that you unlock. As you guys can now see here, that there's a purple dock and there's an orange dock. Now, you have to guide purple boats to the purple dock and orange dock, orange boats, excuse me, to the orange dock. So now you're greeted with a different difficulty. You guys saw they almost crashed right there. But now you're greeted with a different difficulty of having to figure out which one, when it comes on the screen, what side of the map it has to go into. Some of them, some of the orange ones will spawn on the opposite side and you have to get them all the way across without crashing them into one of the purple ones. So, the cool thing about this application, guys, is that it does also have, just like the last application, some great replay value, because it does keep, let's see if we can get that in focus, your record, your highest record, and you can come back and keep trying to beat your best record of how many ships or how many boats you can dock without having them crash into one another. Uh, the boats do get larger, just like in Flight Control, you had different... Uh, sized planes, you will get larger cargo ships in this application that will take, oops, sorry about that guys, phone's going off in the background. Um, you will have uh, larger 
um, boats that will have to be docked, like this one right here. You see that? That one's going to take longer to get in there. That one's going to take longer to dock. So, oh, that one almost crashed. So, those will take a longer time to actually go in there, and they'll actually go a lot slower. Um, so, that offers a different uh, game type. So, pretty neat. Um, very simple application you guys see right there. That's Harbor Master. It's going to go on and on for a while. Um, like I said, it does have some great replay value. Might get boring after a while, but it is a really fun application to go back and play and try to unlock the other maps that you haven't unlocked yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and include one more quick application in here for you guys. Uh, this is a free application called My Battery Life. Um, actually, excuse me, it's not free. It's 99 cents. It's called My Battery Life. It's very basic, guys, uh, but it does come in handy. So you see right here, once you open up this application, you're greeted with My Battery Life, a picture of your battery, which is actually very neat, that shows you how much of your battery life is left. That might show up to you as almost like a, like, it's looking through the camera like it's a bright white, but it's actually uh, like a really nice deep neon blue. So that's really cool. Um, it tells you how much percent battery life you have remaining, and then it also tells you, which this is the really cool part about it, it tells you how much use left you have of your iPod. So you see right there, it says you have 34 hours right there. There's 34 hours and 11 minutes left. Excuse me. Wait, I really just say hours. 34 minutes. Um, wow. I am totally, totally killing this. Yes, 34 hours and 11 minutes of audio playback. Then video playback, you have 5 hours and 41 minutes. And internet on Wi-Fi, you also have 5 hours and 41 minutes. That's just what I have right now because it's telling me I have 95% battery life remaining. So that's why yours will probably be different. But if, in case you're ever wondering, you're out on the go, you're wondering when your battery's going to die, if you should play a game or not. Um, this is a great application to just go ahead and take out and figure that out so you don't really have to worry about knowing if your battery's going to die in the middle of a video or in the middle of a song or anything like that. So it's a pretty cool thing just to have. Would I necessarily buy this application? Most likely not because um, with your jailbroken iPod and other things, you can get the battery percentage up there. You can tell that they are varying because one of them is a little bit off. That's probably the one up there. This one is more uh, likely correct because it is an application straight from the App Store, so it is reading my iPod directly. So, guys, quick app pack here for you guys, even though it was, how long is this? Almost 12 minutes. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if it was a little bit rushed. I'm trying to get this application app packs a little bit shorter, even though that didn't really work out this video. But um, hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys go ahead and check out those three applications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.